Hello, my name is Snorf, and I'm bringing you a Black Ops 2 Wii U multiplayer gameplay onto my channel. Hope you guys will enjoy the gameplay. Obviously, you guys know that Advanced Warfare isn't coming out for the Wii U, and one of the main reasons for that is down to the low sales of the previous two Call of Duty games on the platform. So, in this video, I'll be taking a look at where Call of Duty went wrong on the Wii U. So for me, one of the main reasons why the previous two Call of Duty games sold poorly on the Wii U is down to the delay in the announcement of the Wii U versions of Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, the other versions get announced in May, but in terms of the Wii U, there is always a delay when it came to the announcement of Call of Duty being on the platform. And if you guys don't know, Nintendo were to blame for this delay and um, this got confirmed by Emily Rogers last year in 2012 Black Ops 2 got announced for the other consoles in May but it got announced for the Wii U in September and Call of Duty Ghost got announced on the other consoles in May but for the Wii U it got announced in July and for me this is one of the main reasons why um, Call of Duty on the Wii U sold poorly if there wasn't a delay in the announcement of um, Call of Duty coming out for the Wii U, then it might have led to more people knowing about Call of Duty existing on the Wii U, and it might have led to more pre-orders, and if more people pre-ordered the game and got the game, it might have led to us getting DLC, and that is one of the other main reasons why Call of Duty sold poorly on the Wii U, because we didn't get DLC, we didn't get all the patches. The post release support for Call of Duty on the Wii U was terrible, and this put off a lot of people from picking up a Call of Duty game on the Wii U. If there was DLC for the console um, when it came to Call of Duty, then it might have led to more people picking up a Wii U version of Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost. And if we got more patches as well, then again, it might have led to sales for Call of Duty Ghost and Black Ops 2 being a lot higher than what they were, and it might have led to us getting Advanced Warfare. Also, you have to consider that most people own multiple consoles, and when they see a game that gets released on multiple platforms, they make a decision on what platform they buy that game on. Most people don't buy um, a game for all of the platforms, they just buy one game just for one platform. They don't just buy Call of Duty for all of the platforms. They pick and choose a platform to play Call of Duty on. And when they see that Call of Duty on the Wii U gets no DLC and hardly any patch support, then of course they're not going to choose the Wii U version, they're going to go to the version where they will get the most amount of support and actually get patch support. And again, I think one of the main reasons why Call of Duty on the Wii U sold poorly was down to the treatment we got on the Wii. Um, we never got DLC for um, a Call of Duty game on the Wii. We were supposed to get DLC for Black Ops, but we never did. I think if we did get DLC for Black Ops, then when the Wii U came out, it might have convinced more people to get a Wii U and get Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost for the Wii U. But instead, a lot of people switched to the PS3 and Xbox 360 because of the treatment we got on um, the Wii. So if we did get DLC for the Wii, then I think a lot more people would have got the Wii U and would have got Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost instead of switching to the PS3 and Xbox 360 to get full support for a Call of Duty game. Apart from forcing the delay of the announcement of the Wii U versions of Call of Duty, I also think Nintendo have a large part to blame for the low sales of a Call of Duty game on the Wii U and Wii. I think Nintendo could have done more to promote it. I know it's not their game, I know it's not their job to promote it, but when the actual company doesn't promote their own game, then sure that Nintendo could have stepped in, posted a few tweets on their Twitter account saying that Call of Duty Ghost is out now on um, the Wii U, 
buy it and you can get um, second screen gameplay you can get motion control gameplay and I don't see why they didn't include it in directs as well and that's for all third party games um, I know, like I said before I know it's not their job to promote third party games but surely they could have just done a little section at the end just to show off Call of Duty Ghost or Black Ops 2 on the Wii U um, I know they did it for um, Black Ops 2 in a direct in September 2012 but I don't know maybe they could have done more to promote it on their Twitter feed and record you Ghost they could have included it in a Nintendo Direct um, or they could have just done a third party direct and um, just promoted all of the third party games on the Wii U including Call of Duty Ghost. Now in terms of a Call of Duty Ghost Wii U bundle I'm not sure whether that would breach the Microsoft contract. I know Microsoft do Call of Duty bundles. I'm not sure about Sony. I'm not sure if they are allowed to for the PlayStation. I'm not sure if there is any PlayStation Call of Duty bundles but if there is then I don't see why um, Nintendo didn't bundle the Wii U with Call of Duty Ghost or Black Ops 2 and with a Wii Remote as well or Wii U Pro Controller. Um, I think, like I said, I think Nintendo could have done more to promote um, Call of Duty and not just Call of Duty but third party games in general on the Wii U. I think they could have easily just tweeted it out saying that um, yeah, Call of Duty Ghost is now out on the Wii U. Like I said before, buy it to receive um, motion control gameplay and second screen gameplay and stuff like that. So, yeah, in my opinion, they are the main reasons why um, Call of Duty sold poorly on the Wii U. It was hardly promoted. Not many people knew of its existence due to the fact that the Wii U versions of Call of Duty got announced later on. And of course, DLC, no DLC, hardly any patch report played a large part in why people didn't bother with the Wii U versions of Call of Duty. So in my opinion, that's where Call of Duty went wrong on the Wii U. It's a bit of a shame, really. I think if um, people made the effort um, to promote it, to actually add DLC, um, patch support, then I think Call of Duty would have been a lot different on the Wii U. I think sales would have been a lot higher. And of course, if that was the case, we would have got Advanced Warfare. Um, so yeah, leave me your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more content like this video. Um, so yeah, I'm out of here for now. Goodbye.